Hey, this is Peggy, and today I'd like to show you how I'm going to make some uh, name tags for the Thanksgiving table so people know where to sit. So we're going to start out in Google, and I'm going to type in Maple Leaf, and I'm going to go straight to Images. And I'm going to go into the tools. I am going to do a filter by uh, label for reuse with modification. And I want it to be a line drawing. And I'm going to pick a leaf. And I'm going to save that leaf to my desktop where I know where I can where I know right where it is, and it's very easy to delete later on when I don't need it anymore. Okay? Very important to use those tools and to use those filters. Now I can get rid of the leaf. I can load a picture into the paint window. And I'm going to go out and get the leaf. Say next. Next, um, I want them to be around the 120 by 120 size, so that's where I'm going to uh, change that hoop to make sure it's that size, which it already is. And um, right now, it, the colors really don't matter because I'm not going to do any kinds of fills based on colors or anything like that. Now, the big thing is that I need to think about how I want this to stitch out. And I'm probably going to want to have something where I cut out around the leaf. So probably a satin stitch on the outside. And if I want it to look nice, um, I'm probably going to use a wash away um, stabilizer. And probably what I'm going to do is the, the veins first. And then I'm going to change the color and do the outline of the leaf. And then later on, I'm going to add a name on top of everything, but that also will be a different color. And then I can, in the regular embroidery program, I can um, use the modif modify um, tab in there and, and change the color order so it stitches out the way I want it to stitch. Anyway, so this is how we're going to do this. We're going to go to the Home tab, um, Quick Create. We're going to turn the pattern off just by clicking on it. We want a satin line, and we're going to do a... We're going to be in the Precise tab, and we're going to create a area or line. That's what we're going to do. And satin line, um, I'm going to go into the fill area of, and line. I probably don't want a four millimeter satin line, so I'm going to tune that down to a two. And I'm going to change the color of the outside right away and I'm gonna use a dark cocoa a light cocoa okay so and basically what you're gonna do is click on the create area or line and notice how if I hold down my control button, it puts a square there. And when I let back up, it's a circle. Anytime you want a very sharp angle, you want to, and I'll show you that in just a second, you want to hold that control button down. And you can actually go back in and change it to that style of button. Corner, 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 
corner, corner, corner, and so on. If you don't do those corners, they'll have a rounded edge. That drove me nuts when I was first starting out. I'd try to do a corner and it would be curvy and I didn't know how to correct it. The other thing is the sometimes depending on what you're doing, going around a curve, you might want some extra um, round circles. But when you're in a straightaway, you can do less. Okay, and I'm going to do around the whole leaf and come back. Okay, and now I have the leaf done and I see one little problem area. And I'm going to just click on the satin line for the leaf and I'm going to do create line or area. And I'm going to go right across there and right click and make it so there is a um, beginning and an end of that leaf. Okay. And now I'm going to change the color. So you can do color change up here. Just change it to another color. And then go ahead and do the veins on the leaf. And it doesn't have to be perfect because nature isn't perfect. Right click to make the line or the stitch. Right click. Right click. Right click. Right click. And then lastly, there's the vein. Okay, and we're going to save this as an EDO file. We're going to call it One Leaf. I put the one in front of it so it'll land at the top of my um, files in my Sonet Cloud. And I'm also going to next do the export embroidery. The reason why I save the EDO file is so that if I want to make changes, I can always just open it up in Create and um, make my changes as necessary. So, oh, this is something I wanted to talk about. So this is great. Um, it says the embroidery is too large or will not fit in the hoop. If you get that um, error message, you need to go to the home to modify block and to scale it to fit the hoop and it will scale it so that you can export it and again I'm going to call it one leaf exported and it's going to overwrite one of my older copies and I'm going to Oh, I might just well keep that. And I'm going to do a file insert and open up my one leaf exported. Okay, so right now you have the outside satin stitch. You have the inner um, leaf stitches, the vein stitches, which are just a triple stitch. If I'm going to go back into create for just a minute. If you wanted to change any of those, you just pick the things that you wanted to change and right click and under properties, you can go ahead and change them. Satin line could become a triple stitch, uh, the stitch width, 
could be denser or um, wider or anything you choose there. Another thing that I wanted to mention is if you picked global properties on one, say one triple stitch, and say that you would like um, the triple stitch changed to a satin stitch, which we really don't, but I'm just going to do it for kicks and giggles. We could change, I'm going to say one millimeter width, and it will change all of those stitches to the um, one millimeter satin stitch from, because they used to all be triple stitches. So I'm going to go back. And global properties and I'm gonna say I didn't want a satin stitch so I'm gonna go back to the triple stitch and say okay and that'll turn it all back okay and then we're going back into the leaf and we just did the regular properties that time And 2.0, apply, and we're good. Okay, so that would be how that is done. Um, back into Premiere. There's the leaf. There's the triple stitches, the satin stitches. I have three different colors. I just added my name. Um, my name is was there for, to start out with, so I so technically it would stitch out first so I want to bring that to the front so it'll stitch out later and the other thing I want to do is combine all and I should have three colors now I need to think about this just a little bit if I want to stitch out the veins and then the name then I can put another piece of felt underneath, tape it down so it doesn't slide, and then I could do just a satin stitch around everything and then cut the whole name tag right out of the felt. And the stitching of the names and the veins would not show. So you could do that. Um, to do that, you would go into Modify, make sure your item is boxed in with little boxes around it and if i were to take this let's see and i want to move it down so it's in the last position so right now the blue will stitch out first then the red name and then the um, satin stitch on the outside. Okay. And now I'm going to go to the home. The other thing, if you hit tab, it will cycle between Oh, that's right. I combined everything. Um, I just wanted to show you one last thing, and I'll just do this on top of the um, existing file rather than try to delete it. Um, I'm going to add another Peggy and I'm going to say let's do, you know what, let's try a different name. I'm going to do Lily, size 16. I'm going to put it there and go into the properties. Notice how we've got two L's right close together. Um, sometimes it may look like it's going to um, be so close that one L is going to run into the other. And to avoid that situation, I normally add some gap to my lettering just to give them some space between each letter. Um, it looks a little better, um, less likely to run into uh, one letter into the other, like a L and an H, things like that, they tend to run together sometimes. So 
Um, when that happens and you can see it on the screen, um, go ahead and change that gap. Remember, it's just a right click on the properties. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the lily. And I hope some of you might try to maybe make some um, name cards for plates to show everybody where they're sitting at the Thanksgiving table. Okay, thanks and catch you later. Bye.